I don't think I don't think Oklahomans believe it. I don't think Americans believe it that the president doesn't have any tools in the tool belt. Tonight, we're digging into border concerns stemming from the State of the Union. Governor Kevin Stitt taking aim at the president's border message during that address. This says Oklahoma lawmakers in Washington also weigh in on the issue. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us live from the state capitol. Tom, what else are we hearing in response to President Biden's speech? Adam and Wendy, the governor expressed his frustration with Biden's approach to the border and said he isn't buying the excuses. <laughs> President Biden appearing before Congress on Thursday to deliver the yearly State of the Union address. The issue of immigration is top of mind for many voters and politicians alike. And the president's trying to spin everybody in a circle saying, well, the uh, the court systems are behind and we just need more judges and we more patrol officers and we need Congress to pass a billion dollar funding bill or 20 billion or whatever their numbers are now. According to Stitt, the president ignored a coalition of governors who reached out to him with a border plan two years ago. Stitt urged Biden to return to the Trump era, remain in Mexico policy to rein in the current situation. The February murder of Georgia college student Lakin Riley by a Venezuelan national in the country illegally, a flashpoint in the ongoing issue. I appreciated the fact that he actually said Lakin Riley's name, but really didn't address the, the root issue, and that is making sure that we are keeping this country safe. Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen said on Sunday that Congress can't just fund foreign conflicts in Ukraine, Israel, and the Indo-Pacific and ignore the homeland. But we have to have border in it. We have to take care of our own border before we move forward on all this. And according to the Pew Research Center, almost six in 10 Americans say immigration should be a top issue for Congress, an increase of 18% since Biden took office. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News. Thank you, Tom. Lake and Riley has become the face of immigration reform for many conservatives since she was killed while jogging in the park on the University of Georgia campus last month. Despite bringing up her case, the president still receiving some lashback. Fox 25's correspondent Kayla Gaskins looks at how it played a role in the president's address. As President Biden made his way to the podium Thursday to give the State of the Union address, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene handed him one of these pins, demanding he say the name, Lake and Riley. Lake and Riley. <laughs> I know how to say the name. Lake and Riley. The 22-year-old was murdered in Georgia last month, allegedly by a migrant from Venezuela, her death turning into a symbol of the country's broken immigration system. When Biden addressed immigration Thursday evening, Green continued to yell. Not really. I... Prompting this apparently ad-libbed response where Biden did say her name and Lincoln. held up the pin. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. Critics pointing out he called her Lincoln instead of Lakin. Others zeroing in on his use of illegal to describe the alleged murderer. Now, you should have said undocumented, but I, that's not a big thing, okay? What, what's the big thing yeah, about yeah. it? Representative Joaquin Castro calling Biden's rhetoric dangerously close to language from Donald Trump. The Biden administration previously put out a memo advising the use of undocumented to describe people who enter the country illegally. Biden didn't offer any concrete action plans from the executive branch to fix the border, instead urging Congress to pass a bill. When I left office, we gave Joe Biden the most secure border in U.S. history. What's happened now is a horror show. With no signs of the crisis at the southern border improving, it remains a key issue for Americans as they pick who to vote for in November. I'm Kayla Gaskins reporting. Despite backlash from immigration activists, President Biden is standing by his word choice after referring to an undocumented immigrant as illegal during the address. Do you regret using the word illegal to describe immigrants last night, sir? Well, I probably... I don't regret it. Technically, he's not supposed to be here. Advocates and progressive lawmakers argue using the word illegal to refer to a human being is discriminatory. Members of Biden's own party slammed Biden's comment, including Texas Congressman Joaquin Castro, who posted online his rhetoric about immigrants was incendiary and wrong.
The criticism comes as a federal judge in Texas upholds a program that allows 30,000 migrants from four countries to enter the U.S. each month. It's a key piece of the Biden administration's immigration policy, which hopes to encourage migrants to use legal pathways when entering the U.S. Texas and 20 other states had challenged the program, arguing it forces them to spend millions on health care, education and public safety. They are expected to appeal. The results are in for Thursday's question of the day. We asked, what's your view of the state of a union? Are you better off than you were four years ago? 17% of you said yes, 83% said no. Today's question of the day is, will last night's State of the Union speech have any effect on the way you vote this November? You can submit your vote on OKCFox.com slash question. That was your big story breakdown. You can find more information about immigration and the president's State of the Union address on OKCFox.com. And if you missed any part of tonight's or you want to see more of our big story breakdowns, you can find them all on our YouTube channel. Just search OKCFox.